We are following breaking news just into our newsroom. The race to represent Texas in the U.S. Senate just got more crowded. Yeah, in fact, just minutes ago, State Senator Roland Gutierrez just announced his plans to run for that office. Want to get to Natalie Haddad, who is in our newsroom. You spoke with the senator about this very news. Good morning. That's right, Mark. Texas Democrats clearly think Ted Cruz is vulnerable next year. Congressman Colin Allred from Dallas is running against Cruz, announcing his candidacy in May. Now we can confirm another high-profile Democrat is running for U.S. Senate. It's Roland Gutierrez. He just posted his campaign video to his YouTube channel. He's a state senator from San Antonio, and he gave us his first sit-down TV interview over the weekend. Now, you might have seen Gutierrez over the last year. He has been the most outspoken lawmaker on the Uvalde massacre. Gutierrez has spent nearly 20 years in public service and politics from San Antonio City Council to the Texas legislature. He officially announced his campaign, like we mentioned just a few moments ago. But first, we spent time with him over the weekend in San Antonio. I asked Mr. Gutierrez what sets him apart from Mr. Allred in this race to replace Ted Cruz. We have to look at what is ailing us and work hard to communicate it and make sure that people are doing that. I think that my performance along the past several years will show people that I've gotten big things done. And so, no disrespect to Mr. Allred, he's not my opponent. My opponent is Ted Cruz. And I expect that I'll be in that general election against Ted Cruz. Now, Allred already has a head start. He has raised $6.2 million, and poll numbers show he's within single digits of Ted Cruz. But Allred will now face Gutierrez in the Democratic primary next March. Now, we spoke at length with Gutierrez over the weekend. You can find out more about his positions this morning at WFAA.com and in our later newscasts. Expect to see a lot of both men, both Mr. Allred and Mr. Gutierrez, later this summer and into the fall as they ramp up their campaigns for U.S. Senate. Kara, I'll send it back to you. Okay, Natalie, so Roland Gutierrez's campaign launches today. Let's talk about tentative plans moving forward. He still has a, a big job potentially coming up in regards to the impeachment trial in the State House. That's right. And as, uh, this weekend, we spoke about his tentative plan moving forward uh, with throughout the state. A common theme throughout the interview with Mr. Gutierrez was this. He's going to sit down with Texans across the state of all backgrounds and experiences and have a, quote, real conversation. He says campaign season for him really ramps up in late August, early September. We know the Paxton trial begins in the beginning of September. So we are working to verify what that means for Mr. Gutierrez when it comes to that Senate trial for Mr. Paxton. As soon when his campaign uh, ramps up here at the end of the summer, marches and town halls will follow. Kara, Mark. Okay, a lot to follow and pay attention to. Thanks, Natalie, for getting that. We appreciate it.